number 15 in the Kempo Karate for Christ fourth green curriculum is Catching the Leg. Uh, catching the Leg is what I have renamed from Squeezing the Peach. Uh, it's essentially the same technique but with a very important adjustment um, and appropriate for um, my uh, purpose of this being a Christian oriented family friendly environment. Um, some of the move or a particular part of the technique squeezing the peach and why it gets its name um, I think makes it a little bit excessive. So um, we want to be effective but not excessive. And uh, I think catching the leg does a better job at um, kind of um, carefully following that line, that balance of being effective but at the same time not being excessive and not being inappropriate. So, um, but I'll talk about the differences as we do it. The technique comes from a bear hug. Arms are pinned, right? And I'm going to pin the hands again. We're going to step straight back with the left. And as you do this, there's going to be a left rear heel palm. You're hitting straight back along your leg with the heel palm. And as I go back for catching the leg, target can be right into the crest of the hip. Breaking their posture, breaking their balance, making them bend forward. If you can cause that effect, then you've done what you need to do. Um, if it's the case where you know you feel like you're in more danger than that, this isn't just like you know buddies roughhousing, or uh, if it merits a little bit more force. If it's a young lady who's being attacked by a much bigger man, then as you step back, that heel palm goes right between the legs, and you hit them in the in the groin with the the heel palm, solid heel palm. All right. Now the next move for catching the leg, in either case, groin or hitting them in the uh, crest of the hip, whatever case is, we're going to grab a hold of their leg. Reach down and with your left hand, grab their left leg, grab pants, grab whatever material you can get a hold of, shorts. If, uh, if you need to, you can grab skin, right? Start with the open palm, make a fist, and then twist, create a pain grab on there, and when you do that, that should, if it's a pain grab, they'll want to let go. But from here, while holding their, their leg, you want to pin your own arm tight to your side and step forward using your whole body with the left foot. Step forward and pull their leg forward with that. So as you step forward, their leg is forced to step towards 12 o'clock. You want to step back, hit, grab, pull them. Make them step forward towards 12 o'clock. And ideally, as they step forward, you want your right foot to be lined up between their feet. And once it is, if you've accomplished that, then um, the, from here, when you shift your weight on to your left as you step forward, the right foot's going to scoop kick as it comes up, right? That's like that back kick where you rewind the tape, comes up this way. And again, it's a groin shot. So if their legs are right between yours, comes up and can catch them between the legs. And as you catch them between the legs, I'm going to then drive right back again. And all this is going back towards 7.30. Right? So we step back, we hit with the heel palm to the left, grab the leg, step forward, turn in the body, pull that leg forward, catch the leg, pull it forward. Scoop kick between their legs and step back towards 7.30, turning into a forward bow with a right outward elbow to the chin. Then your full cover out will take you to 1.30 opposite direction. All that together is catching the leg. So again, your arms are caught in bear hug. Pin their hands, step back. We heel palm back and grab. Step forward, pulling their leg forward. Scoop kick between the legs. Turn with an outward elbow to the chin. Full cover out. So it has elements of that repeated devastation, that spinning outward elbow to the jaw. Once again, uh, catching the legs, pin, back, hit, grab, pull, scoop, kick, elbow, full cover, out. One more time, full speed, catching the leg.